Bon, uh, Boris Johnson loyalist all the way through this Well, period. Martin, I think you'll remember correctly that I was one of the most vocal people at the time regarding the ridiculous party gates, uh, so-called Skaga, where Boris got a fine for, what, having a Tesco sandwich with a can of Coke, yet the Cabinet Secretary and the Civil Service in the room escaped the fine. We're still trying to make the do the maths on that one, if you will. But I, all the time I did the media, all the time I was writing articles, all the time I was in the chamber supporting Boris Johnson, I don't recall seeing Nathalie Elphick anywhere. I don't recall her even seeing in the Downing Street when Boris was saying goodbye. So, you'll, again, you'll excuse me for believing that this is just some cynical attempt to try and portray herself as a, a, a Boris Johnson fan, something that Angela Rayner has tried to also do in Deputy Prime Minister's questions when she was saying that uh, Boris was a great electoral asset. You know, they're all desperately trying to uh, pivot for every vote, mm. even though we all know what they really stand for, which is they have no plan. And what Nathalie Elphick has shown mm. on top is she has no views, no values and no spine. And, John, what kind of sentiments have you been hearing from your colleagues today, I mean, as well as shock? Bear in mind, we're pre-Watershed. What kind of words have been used about Well, look, I think defensive? Olivia summed up correctly that there's a lot of anger out there in the Conservative Party. Colleagues stood by her during a very difficult time with her husband or ex-husband, I'm not sure which one it is, sorry, but going through that particular trial, which was obviously very damning. There's obviously been the uh, then... Dover itself and a lot of colleagues like myself stood shoulder to shoulder with her in pushing the government to go further and to go harder when it came to both tackling legal and illegal migration. You know, this is a woman who's a member of the New Conservatives, which I set up with Danny uh, Kruger and Miriam Cates, where we've called for some of the probably toughest measures going when it comes to immigration. Someone who I've been pushing for us, ignoring and potentially um, want us to quit the ECHR. She's been empathetic to those viewpoints. Now she's in a Labour Party that says that the European Court for Human Rights should be respected and that if they tell us not to take our flights, then we shouldn't do. Again, a Labour Party that said that they would cancel the Rwanda flights even if the policy works. And you've got the migrant amnesty on top and you've got the dodgy deal with the EU. That means the people of Dover won't see less boats. They'll see more boats and more illegal migrants, predominantly young single men, than ever before, taking up her hotels, her police's time, her NHS, her school spaces. And she's now got to look her constituents in the face or... As you've said already, I'm sure she'll just hide in her office and hunker down. I hope that she hasn't got to face the real consequences of her actions today.